Please welcome slam poet Bradman, here with his take on what America stands for. You can feel it all over. We're getting unwound, screaming at each other just because we like the sound. But we're getting drowned now, barking like hounds at whoever we think has the wrong view. But we got to take the long view. Who does this world belong to? Forget about everybody's mistakes and think about the motto of the United States. E pluribus unum, from many one. That's what we shoot for. It can't be us against the world. Who do you root for when your only option to choose is either the world beats us or the world loses? We don't need more screaming. We need more thinking. We need to remember the words of Abraham Lincoln. A house divided against itself cannot stand. So why are we screaming names and insults in the name of our land? We need to talk without picking fights. Because no one gets insulted and says, oh, I guess you're right. No, we win when we unite in the goal that freedom will prevail for all. And it's a start. If we can find that common ground to get behind that and work together for freedom against those denying that. Freedom to worship, freedom to speak, Freedom from want, freedom from fear. Hold those freedoms dear every day. And when we're debating, it's up to us to say whether our decisions bring those ideals closer or farther away. We gotta take stock in, of what's important and import the ideas we can't be afforded to forsake for the sake of our nations and stay concentrated without being motivated by fear and hatred. Don't be mad when your brother's frustrated. You should have just waited to hear what he said. But we're shouting over each other instead and now all the world arguing about bales and bathrooms and what you can wear on your head. Come on, like it don't matter when you're dead and gone. Here lies John. He was real mad about the scarf that his neighbor had on. We'll get sick of winning once we accept this world's destiny is in the hands, heads, and hearts of its millions of free men and women. And remember at least that all desperate folk on earth are in search of the same peace, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Freiheit und Einigkeit und Recht, Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. Es ist Gloria, Bildschap, Lilschap, und Union, und Libertad. Es ist Gloria, Aman, und Tovashia. In any language, in any part of the world, it's liberty, justice, independence, unity, prosperity, freedom. Let no one go hungry. Let no one be persecuted for their beliefs. Let no one have fear for the safety of their families. These are the things we believe. Everywhere the citizens of the world believe in freedom. We have the right to freedom and the duty to ensure that everything we do, every day of our lives, brings us closer.